Hello, this is the book room from the Preteen Book Review, and today we're doing a double feature because last time I was supposed to post, I was sick and couldn't post. So today, the featured books are Flunked and Divergent from two different series. So first, we're going to start off with Flunked. Flunk's about a girl named Gilly who has a big family, but they're poor, so she steals to feed her family and give them extra money. But then one day she gets caught, and she has to go to fairy tale reform school for three months. And fairy tale reform school is run by um, super scary villains. Well, reformed villains like the big bad wolf, Cinderella's evil stepmother, those guys. So it's pretty intimidating already. But then she figures out there's something to the school that might not meet the eye. And how good are these bad guys? So I'll read the back to you. In yellow up here, I'm just going to read this. It's not really part of the back, but I'm just going to read it to you guys. Fairytale Farm School. Our mission to turn delinquents and former villains into future heroes. Gilly wouldn't call herself wicked exactly, but when you have five little brothers and sisters and live in a run-down boot, you have to get creative to make ends meet. Gilly's a pretty good thief, if she does say so herself, until she gets caught. Gilly is sentenced to three months at Fairytale Farm School where all of the teachers are former super scary villains like the Big Bad Wolf, the Evil Queen, and Cinderella's wicked stepmother, Harsh. But when she meets fellow students Jackson and Kayla, she learns there's more to the school than heroic missions. There's a battle brewing, and Gilly has to wonder how good are these bad guys are. So now I'll read my reading log entry to you on the book. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, I always read a reading log entry. They're super useful for when... You uh, you forget what a book was exactly about and just want to refresh your memory. So the book is Flunked, author Jen Kalita, and the plot, well, I gave a 4 out of 5, characters a 5 out of 5, and an ease of reading a 5 out of 5. So it easily earned my approval. My, so this is my review. The story about a girl who steals to help support her family when she gets caught and is put into fairy tale reform school where she befriends a fairy Kayla and a rebel Jax, a gnome Ollie, and a troll Maxine. When a dark force that threatens FTRS, or fairy tale reform school as they call it, they must band together and find out if the ex-villain teachers are truly reformed. So now that I've read that to you, I'm going to read you Divergent. Well, I'm not going to read you Divergent, but I'm going to read you the back and just give you my review. So Divergent is the first book of the Divergent series written by Victoria Roth. And the back isn't much. And also, so I'm also going to read this clip they have in the front. But my review so far is Divergent is about a 16-year-old girl named Beatrice Pryor who has to make the decision of which faction or group in the society to live in. I'm not going to name the factions because you probably won't know what they mean, but I'll just name what they represent. The one she's in right now is selflessness, kindness, bravery, intelligence, and honesty. So she has to make this decision at 16, and she can either decide to stay with her family or or go and adventure forever. But of course, each choice has unexpected consequences. Here's the back. One choice decides your friends. One choice defines your beliefs. One choice determines your loyalties forever. One choice can transform you. And this is the little clip they have. This is also a little background. She has a brother, Caleb, and that's who she's talking to right now. My family might be able to make my choice for me if I could talk to them about my aptitude test results, but I can't. Tori's warning whispers in my memory every time my resolve to keep my mouth shut falters. Caleb and I climb the stairs at the top when we divide into our separate rooms. He stops me with a hand on my shoulder. Beatrice, he says, looking sternly into my eyes, we should think of our family. There's an edge to his voice, but, but we must also have to think of ourselves. For a moment, I stare at him. I've never seen him think of himself. I've never heard him insist on anything that's selflessness. I'm so startled by his comment, I just say what I'm supposed to say. The tests don't have to change our choices. He smiles a little, don't they, though? So that was kind of the back and the little clip scene. So that is before anything happens, you know, before the book 
gets heated. That's like the second or third chapter, so nothing really too intense yet. So now I'm going to read you my reading log entry. So Divergent by Veronica Roth. This, this book is a society that has five groups that represent selflessness, bravery, kindness, honesty, and intelligence. When you're 16, you choose a group for your, of your faction. If you don't pass the, your initiation, you become factionless or poor. The book is viewed from a girl who's ready to transfer from being selfless to being brave. So she's ready to go to Dauntless, which is bravery. Sorry, that's a bit of a spoiler, but not a big one. It's not a big one. It happens in like the, the first five chapters of a book, so this isn't really a big spoiler. And the plot's 5 out of 5, characters 4 out of 5, ease of reading was 5 out of 5. I really liked it, and my favorite quote was, I, was, I don't belong here by Triss, or Beatrice, as you'll understand her later in the book. So, this, this review has been Divergent by Veronica Roth, and Flunked by, who is it again? Jen Kalita. So, thank you for watching. This is The Book Room signing off. I hope you enjoyed this Della feature. Bye. Again, this is The Book Room signing off. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.